Hey, happy Thursday, everyone. Friday Eve, baby Friday, whatever you want to call it. It's a good day. Welcome into our CBS 58 quick cast. We start things off with some sports news for you. Kevin Holden here. And Kevin, yeah, we heard from a Packers legend today. How about that, uh, Jessup? Leroy Butler goes yeah. into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in a few weeks, and today he looked back on a career-defining play, <laughs> the Lambeau Leap. Mike Holmgren always said, if you get a fumble, you're a defensive player, don't lateral the ball, but Reggie wanted to do it. So Reggie laterals this ball and running down the sideline, and it's all spontaneous. The leap is so big, Butler now has his own statue outside Lambeau Field recreating the play. Jessup? Oh, yes. Iconic for sure, Kevin. Thank you so much. Milwaukee saying bonjour once again to an annual summer tradition. Amanda Becker takes us there. I'm Amanda Becker at Bastille Days with your CBS 58 Quick Cast. The festival is back for the first time in three years. They had to cancel for the last two because of COVID-19. And you can expect to see some of those old favorite vendors, but there are new vendors as well, as well as a new layout. Some of that traditional French and Cajun food is still here. Lake Park Bistro is preparing to sell 3,000 croque-monsieur this weekend. There's also a full lineup of French music on three stages. You can go to our website to read all about where where the wooden mini Eiffel Tower is and when it will return. Ah, and the inflatable Eiffel Tower this year, the original one is under uh, reconstruction or uh, it's getting some repairs. Organizers say they are confident with the security measures in place to help people feel safe at Bastille Days. Along with a private security group, Bastille Days has an agreement with the Milwaukee Police Department for extra security as well. Well, let's get to your ready weather forecast. Sam Cuffel in for Drew. Sam, beautiful day out there. And it's going to be a beautiful evening as well to storm the Bastille. Temperatures dropping back into the 60s after sunset this evening. Those clouds don't start to increase until overnight tonight, and that's ahead of a good chance of rain and storms for your Friday arriving tomorrow morning. And it's going to be with us pretty steadily through the morning hours. Some of those storms in the afternoon could be on the stronger side with gusty winds. And overall, anywhere from a half inch to an inch plus of rain is expected. Sam, thank you. Planned Parenthood Wisconsin and Planned Parenthood Parenthood, Illinois, announcing a partnership to expand abortion access for women living in Wisconsin. Wisconsin providers will now be traveling to perform abortions at the Waukegan, Illinois Clinic, doubling abortion access there. Planned Parenthood says patient demand at Illinois clinics has increased tenfold since Roe v. Wade was overturned, mostly with people seeking abortions from out of state. A paper shortage is a concern heading into the August primary and November general elections here in Wisconsin. Labor shortages and supply chain issues forcing clerks to think earlier about paper supplies needed for ballots and envelopes. Some clerks are even taking steps like encouraging voters to register or request absentee ballots electronically to save paper. But in Milwaukee County, officials do say they were alerted of the shortage in the spring and they are well supplied with more than 900,000 ballots for the county for the August and November elections. About 100 kids from the Milwaukee area getting the coaching of a lifetime. Look at this. The Milwaukee Bucks and Pfizer hosting a basketball clinic for the Boys and Girls Club at Sherman Park Dream Court. They say they hope the kids will learn the basics of basketball, but most importantly, have fun. A recent high school graduate's artwork is representing Wisconsin in a big way. Mike Jones, a graduate from Verona High School, that's outside of Madison, selected as a winner of Doodle for Google competition. The contest allows students kindergarten through 12th grade to create their own version of the Google logo. And look at his, wow. Jones is titled Wellness Through the Mirrors. It will now advance to the final round where a national winner will be announced July 28th. Well, it's opening weekend for the Hartford Players production of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Director Emily Kittle handpicked the musical because of her unique connection to its characters. Kittle and her sister were born conjoined twins. They separated at four months old, but it left her with a physical disability. Just like the main characters in the play, Kittle says she's faced a lifetime of discrimination, both in theater and other parts of her life. Instead of letting that hold her back, she's used her perspective to inspire the play you can see this weekend and next at the Shower Center in Hartford. Our 58 hometowns taking us to Oconomowoc today. Natalie Shepard is our tour guide, getting to learn all about the great things that make this Waukesha County City so special, including the Wizard of Oz characters and that replica yellow brick road she's standing on right there. Find out all about the connection to the Wizard of Oz tonight at 9 and 10. Also tonight, we will be there as thousands of runners storm the Bastille, plus a successful lemonade stand that has tremendous meaning for a little girl in Sheboygan. We will see you tonight, but for now, that is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. I'm Jessup Reisbeck. We appreciate you watching.